He tried to kick the ball. Wanstead Flats, at the southernmost tip of Epping Forest, was saved from enclosure by the Epping Forest Act of 1878. Under this Act, the Corporation of London was empowered to preserve the forest unenclosed as an open space for the recreation and enjoyment of the public for all time. Keeping the forest unenclosed has not been easy. For example, the great expanse of Wanstead Flats would be a juicy morsel for developers, especially as the flats are only a few miles from central London. And the demand for further roads is not just a modern phenomenon. Would-be developers drew up this plan to crisscross Wanstead Park with roads in the 1860s, and the 20 years from 1850 saw the whole scale theft of forest land by the Lords of the Manors, reducing the forest by 50%. Save us the forest, already is done, more mischief than time can restore, and most of the landmarks of boyhood are gone. We cannot, we will not lose more. Save us the forest, that children may roam, or gamble in innocent glee. Their shouts shall ring loudly neath heaven's high dome, telling all that the forest is free. Oh, save us the forest, the toiling ones cry, who dwell with the smoke and the heat. In the long summer sunshine, delighted we fly, away from the alley and street. Oh, save us the forest, ye wealthy and great. For you have enough and to spare. Let the forest remain for the poor man's estate, that you his best wishes may share. Nor call his sweet ramble a trespass or crime. Let humanity carry the sway, and save us the forest, no, not for a time, but save us the forest for a. Commoners' rights within the forest had been established since the 11th century, and one of these rights was lopping wood. The staunch action of the Willingale family of Loughton in defending their forest rights gave rise to others getting organised. This led to influential people championing their cause and then for the Corporation of London to exercise its new commoners' rights and bring about the Act of 1878.
A further serious attempt to enclose and build on Wanstead Flats followed the Second World War and was defeated after a protracted struggle. The threat to the 1878 Act and the threat of compulsory purchase were the key issues on which huge numbers decided to take a stand. The Park Residence Society, with Robert Sim and Stanley Reed, was built independently of the local political parties and led the fight, achieving a resounding success. While the 1878 Act prohibits enclosure, it does not exclude exchange of land. To the north of the forest, London's outskirts, land has been added to the forest, but at what cost to the urban south? The insatiable demand for new trunk roads round and into London continues to decimate communities and their quality of life. This has not been taken lying down. This is the context in which the proposed police building on Wanted Flats should be seen. The picnic on September the 5th gave local people an opportunity to air their views to the forest superintendent, Paul Thompson. Okay, thank you. Hello, I'm glad to see you here. I spoke to you at the uh, Cherry Tree Cafe the other evening. Right. And took your card. I haven't right. written to you yet. OK, right. And, uh, about the, the fact that these toilets are supposed to be here on that map. Oh yes. Which is 25 metres from our trees at the back here. Oh yes, yes we did speak about well, that. Well it's yeah. not 100 metres from our houses and why do toilets, I mean I don't want it at all, but why do toilets have to be sited so near to the only houses that are as, as close as that? And you're, going, you're allowing them to keep them there to be used for the circuses and, and fun fairs. I think that's appalling. Why is it going to be permanently there? Oh, the, the permanent connection is, yes, is, is, is there because we feel uh, it's, it's there for the duration of the, the, the police activity because yes, yes. they're trying to make the site as sustainable as possible. The danger is if they just have four saloons with them, the hundreds of officers that will be there, there going to be, need to be a long, large number of traffic movements to just, just keeping the, the toilets emptied and uh, bringing in water to the site. By, by actually but, tapping but into surely... the services, well, if you let me finish, if, by tapping into the services, um, they can actually use those facilities and, and avoid all those extra traffic movements. But yeah. once that's left there as a site for a toilet to be put up for that's every right. pump, yeah. how many times have you been to a, some sort of out, outdoor exhibition or concert and people do not bother to queue no, up, they just, they just the go board. around yeah. the sites. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want yeah, that in my backyard. Yeah. Well, why does it have to be there? Right. So we're not right actually there, right we're not the citing a toilet block there. The only thing that will be yes. left will be a manhole yeah, cover there. Yeah. So why? yeah, connection. Why? Well, so so other other events users yeah, will be able to use that. Why that right next to our houses? There's all this land. You've got acres and acres upon acres of land where you're building all the Olympic. Well, that's a fresh site. Why can't it all be built there? You can yeah. right. make a police station. How are you gonna wreck our ground that we've got our little bit of green we've got left? Mm -hmm. that to right. build a police station when they've got all that concrete over there, go right. build it on there. Well, it's not, it's not a police station, it, it, it's a temporary centre, it's yeah. only yeah, going to be here for 90 days. That could be put in the centre where, it, where it, yeah. it needs to be. To well, the, the police are telling us that they need to actually, they're policing the whole Olympic zone, not just the site, the, the Olympic site itself, but the police station, uh, the new shopping centre, all the, all the roads around, all the pubs, clubs and, and, and hotels that are going to be really busy with all the half a million visitors that are expected to arrive here. So they're policing a whole zone, so there will be a police presence on the Olympic Park already, but what they're doing here is mustering and deploying police to provide additional protection and support around the whole community, the whole Olympic zone. Well, uh, the one thing I, I did object to when I came to that meeting is that none of the policemen, they kept saying that they'd looked at umpteen sites but no one will say where they are yeah. why won't they well i mean i think there's, there's uh, uh you 
may not be convinced of this argument. The, the truth of the matter is there's a commercial issue here. I mean, if they identify the sites they look at, some of them are privately owned, and, and that gives people, if they if they don't have a proposal, the proposal doesn't work here, they have to talk to one of those other sites, and it gives people an unfair advantage if you know what list, you know, who's on the list and who's better than oh, the other. I, I find and, that and, well, a hard to swallow. Well, because, it's a commercial interest. Yeah, it's a no, difficult everybody issue. Everybody knows about mm. this now, and yet it's not supposed yeah. to have been decided. So why can't those other places have been talked about and discussed? That's right. That's right. Only this one is the one that everybody now knows about. So everybody's saying it's cut and dried and there's not even any discussion left. This permission's been given in principle, subject to oh, public consultation. Permission? Or would you change your mind now after you've heard our stories and how we feel? We've um, grown up here. I've grown, sure. I just live over there. Sure. I mean, my mate, we live over there. Day. We've been coming here for more than like 20 years. We've got sure. dogs over this there. Is, this is our, so you know, this is our, we come and play football. Yeah, I just here. find it's yeah, yeah, kids. It's an intrusion. I like it's like our well. house. I, I, I understand that. I, I'm a local boy. Exactly. I came from Catherine Road. Road you know, I, I know and love the flats. Like definitely. Yeah, I mean, I've read up about the history of the land and everything. And we know it's common land. And the other thing is that I find it a bit much that the complete the police themselves who are supposed to be upholding the law are asking us to break it for them. Yeah, that's right. And I just that's find exactly. that so no, contrary I mean, to what you're brought up to believe. Believe. No, we need to be very careful about that. that. Life, Police aren't asking mean, to break that. No, that's why we need to make a temporary variation to that. So they won't break the law. Just they to build something now. Why should they change it? Oh, come on. That's a little bit verbose. What we're trying to do is considering this temporary variation so what they do isn't a criminal act. Um, no, but they're, um, they're making, well, if, you, if they get their way, they're making you change the act, the law. Exactly. So the That's police exactly. are changing the law to suit themselves. Once you've changed that right. law, it will never get turned back. It won't be the same thing here. Right. You're that never going to Once that law has yeah. been changed, yeah. then anything can be built on I it. I can assure you. And I'm telling yeah. you, that's, a, it's, yeah. that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. 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 And it shouldn't be allowed to happen. Yeah. Yeah. We can, we can see what's going to happen. It shouldn't get changed. And I'm sure you do as well. It's going to be a problem. Well, the first thing I say is hope you judge us by our the way we've looked after the forest for 130 years. All We've never given land away. We've All we've done is add more land to the forest. It's not just yourselves, it's us. We look after this place as well. Me, myself, when I was a little kid and I was in primary school, we was in like this little tree foundation thing where yeah. we, we, we adopted one of the trees over there. Right. Like, cause, like, it's like you, you, and you make sure that it's okay and things like that because it's one of the oldest trees in the forest. Yeah. So, me, myself, as a youngster, I've, I've always been over here and I'm, if I see rubbish, I'll pick it up. Right. Like, so, these, everyone here is like, just as yeah. much involved in this place as yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, we're not disputing that. We understand, you know, we understand how much passion and how, many, how much people care about the forest. And that's great. It's great to see so much passion being demonstrated today. Um, Can't it's, it's possibly old. mean to, in the interest of wants to flats, can you? Why? How? In what p possible way can it be in the best interest of wants to flats? I'm talking about it particularly in, in terms of our care and stewardship of Wanstead Flats. Uh, the, the police have indicated to us this is the best site for them. I'm very cynical. They might never even have considered anywhere else. Actually, they yeah, won't tell us where it was. Right. Why is it so secretive? The, the, the view we take is that the police are the experts on policing. Yeah. I mean, it's not for me what? to... No, um, policing, but what's yeah. that? Yeah. 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 Their use here, their, their need to use this site is, is, is something they've determined in terms of policing needs. In terms needs. of the Metropolitan Police, but not yeah. in terms of us. You, you yeah. still, no, no, they sure. They're still putting them for the people. Though. Why is it best for Wanstead Flats? Yeah. You're answering a question, you're answering a question. You, know, you said you, this is best for Wanstead Flats. Why is it best Why for Wanstead Flats? Because we, we think, me. By, by dealing with Wanstead Flats, we're creating this temporary change. Uh, or temporary variation to the Act. We're not undermining the Act in any way, we're not amending it. We're accommodating the police's requirements. Um, we're playing a part in, in providing a safe, secure, successful... Um, we're not really right. convinced. You're not convinced, no, clearly. Right. We, we, we're doing a public consultation now. We weren't in a position to be able to tell you before now because we were waiting on the, uh, the Home Secretary's uh, approval of, of the potential. So, in fact, it's a fait accompli? No, no, no. The, no we, we, there's a number of ways we could have changed the Epping Forest Act. We think the legislative reform order, which we, with this makes this temporary variation, is the best way forward. But 
we need the Home Office's permission. Um, we, we heard very recently from the Home Secretary that it is possible to pursue this route, and that's one of the reasons the Home Office is doing a three-month consultation with all of you good people on, on whether it's going to be worthwhile um, from your point of view. Legislative reform order mm -hmm. is there to change law mm -hmm. when there is no large opposition. Yep. So, but you can see from what happened here today that there's quite a lot of opposition to what's going on so far. And once you, you're saying you're not changing the law, but it's in fact, it's a change in law, so it will set the precedent. So how will you make sure that this is indeed temporary? You know, I, I feel, I actually quite honestly feel that we have more an issue with the corporation than we have with the police. Mm. They've already put, spoken to the Home Office, they've spoken yeah. to Parliament, and we're last. Well, we live here, Parliament. I live yeah. there, yeah. and you speak to well, me last. I spoken to yeah. you three, four months ago. Only because and, and I you, spoke to you. you, you could, we <laughs> oh, we could have done it. Let me finish, yeah. please. I could have spoken to you earlier on in the process, and then I think a lot of people would have asked lots of very legitimate questions around traffic, around archaeology, environmental impact, Where about the act, and I would go, I'd be able to go to you, well, I don't know how we're going to do that yet, and, and, and actually it would have been a very meaningful consultation, because largely, largely I wouldn't have any of the answers. I, I don't have the answers, so that's why we're consulting you. So questions would have been asked four months ago, you just yeah. admitted that. Yeah. Surely yeah. you asked those questions four months yeah. ago, yeah. so why couldn't you have asked them with us? With us. Right. Yeah. Instead yeah. of going against us, behind our backs, so we don't know anything about it, and we have to find out about it in the evening standard. Right. But I'll say that's, that's like... You know, hiding in the back. behind it's our backs. Very suspicious well, I think no. Behavior. I think the danger is that, that, that people all rushed out and said this was a half-baked idea. What's the danger about that? Yeah. That's that's yeah. quite legitimate. Yes. Yeah, but well, it doesn't. Yeah. You surely you did that. Well, the logical thing for us is to make sure we have all the right answers to know whether we can do this or not before we actually talk to you, because it might have been a meaningless no, process. Yeah. That's exclusion. It's exclusion because you don't value our contributions. Right, you think yeah. first you'll package it in a way that's sensible for ministers to hear. Not at all. I mean, I, I think we want we want to give you we want to give you the answers. And if I'd posed that to you three or four months, I couldn't have given you the answers. Why did you talk to Doc? Why did you talk to the ministers? Why did you talk to the British Bond Police? They're officials who have representatives, and you trust them. We're just a bunch of rebels. She's you know she's just got a house that lives near a toilet. It's not that important. Why can't we hear where the other sites were? I don't believe they exist. You'll say, of course they do, but it's a secret. You can say anything. Who can tell me where those other sites were? They've been considered and rejected. Yeah. Well, what are they? Please undertook the survey, so you'd need to pose that question to the well, Metropolitan Police. Yeah. No, yeah. did you not pose it to the Metropolitan Police? I did it, that exclusion. Why haven't you posed it to the Weren't police? You we have, curious? yeah. Okay, and what, they and what answer you? did you get? They, 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 they're telling us that they have a priority list, and, they've priority, and, and the top oh. of the list is, is wants to flat. Because it's cheap? Yeah. Not at all, no. Well, it's, why it's, then? Why, what is, why is it the top Because it meets, they meets their operational the needs. Because it's uh, cheap. Yeah. Operational yeah. Needs. I can clearly see why you, you're, you're, not, you're unhappy with the answers I'm providing, certainly, yes. So. Uh, uh, it's because I, I really can't yeah. understand yeah. why yeah. the superintendent, you didn't right. just say no in the first place. Right. Couldn't you have said, weren't you allowed to say no? As I've said to lots of people today, um, what we what we want to do is play our part in a safe, secure, and successful Olympics. You know, I've got uh, nothing against that. None right. of us has. We're against the fact that you haven't included us in that process. We're absolutely for that. Every ordinary person on this earth wants to have a happy, secure life. Not really getting any good answers out of you, Philip. Right. Fine. That's it. No mercy. Ready, go. Ten goals. We're going to rugby instead.